Hey, welcome rock stars to The Basement, located here at the Platinum Music Complex out here in North Richland Hills. Today on the show, we have Scott Kimes. As far as marketing for, for local musicians, what, what do you think is a good way for local musicians to, man, mar- to market themselves as a band? Oh, man, I'm so glad you asked this. Um, <laughs> a lot of people in DFW have known me for years that, uh, that I, I'm, I'm one to definitely get out and sell tickets and really put my face in people's faces. And um, that's the biggest thing is a lot of artists that I've come across and and I've worked with or whatever, um, we get caught up in daily life to where we forget about the business aspect of trying to get our, we, we miss the networking opportunities. And um, whereas if I was here with you and I said, hey, Dwayne, I've got a ticket for my show this coming Friday, and that ticket's right here between the two of us and it's face to face, the odds of you purchasing that ticket right there on the spot are much greater than me telling you about it and hoping you're there on Friday. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. a lot of musicians miss that opportunity yep. because they don't have the concrete evidence of a ticket in front of them when they're meeting fans or meeting new people. Right, right. And it changes the whole perspective. And I've always uh, definitely entrapped the whole idea of of the networking possibility of making face-to-face contact with people. It's It's very old school, but it's something that's so old school that it never was forgotten. It still works. So with that being said, I mean, what do you think is the most important thing that a band could do to succeed? Lincoln Park, before they were Lincoln Park, uh, was a band called Hybrid Theory. And I, I live by the model that they had. And I know this uh, because I used to live in Orlando, Florida, and I saw one of their shows um, once they were in Lincoln Park, but a, a friend of mine knew their manager. And I asked, how did they get this big? And he said that um, the band was all going to some sort of school, tech school or college, and they all had a goal that when they had a concert, that they mm-hmm. would each one of them would sell 100 tickets. Okay. And the way they do that is, like I said, they had face-to-face connections with people or they go where they knew there was a lot of people and talk about their band or um, something else that I knew that worked is if typically somebody says, hey, I've got an original band, the first question asked is, what do they sound like? Right. What do you guys sound like? Tell these people something they know. Like, like Kime sounds like Skid Row or it sounds like Guns N' Roses. And when you say something like that, we're original music that sounds like Skid Row. People go, I like Skid Row. Right. I want to hear your stuff. Right. Um, so there was goals that were set by bands like Linkin Park that, hey, they had a goal and a commitment between all the band members that we're each going to sell 100 tickets. And if they fell short, there was still 100 to 250 people at every single show. Right. And when you set a goal like that as a band and you hold each other accountable to setting that goal and doing your best at achieving that goal, the, the only the only limitations you have is just yourself at that point. It's, it's been a pleasure getting to watch you over the years. Uh, you know, I've been following your music. Just keep doing what you're doing. Do you have any uh, social media platforms you'd like to? Uh, you can go... You can search Kimes, K-I-M-E-S, on, uh, on Facebook, um, Kimes Official on Instagram, um, and you can follow our stuff. Uh, we also have stuff on YouTube um, and a website, kimesmusic.com. You can go to the website and find whatever you want to find there as well. Hey, guys, I want to thank you guys for checking in with us today. Let's talk music. We'll see you the next time.